All right, welcome to LearnWire. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a spin rewriter video, and we're gonna actually start getting creative with different ways that you can actually use spin rewriter to help you out in your business. Uh, many of you asked like, well, what, what can I do with this software with spinning today in 2022? Well, I'm gonna show you some different ways. In this video, I'm gonna show you some ethical ways, right? You wanna stick around, make sure to subscribe, my next video, I will be showing you some more black hat at, uh, methods that you can use spin rewriter. Now, of course, I caution everybody uh, to do th this at your own risk. Uh, I don't endorse doing this or anything like that, but I am going to show you what is possible and what you could use the tool for, but that will be in the next video. This video, I'm going to be showing you complete ethical white hat ways that you can use spin rewriter in your business to make money. And it actually goes hand in hand with one of my bonuses uh, that if you pick up Spin Rewriter right now, um, you will get my bonuses over here, three uh, very valuable bonuses. I'm giving away POR Profits Academy. This is a hundred dollar course. I've made over 12 or $13,000 on this course. Yes, there's a premium course I sell to students, but I'm giving it away as a unique bonus. I only do this a couple times a year. Uh, so you can go pick this up and it's over three hours long teaching you how to make money with private label rights. Uh, so you will get that. Um, and then you'll get uh, how to create YouTube videos fast using AI software. Really, really unique course. Uh, it's one hour of over the shoulder video training as well. And then we're going to come through here and this is small YouTube, big profits. This is showing you how I made over 12 or $13,000 in six months with only 500 YouTube subscribers. So I show you that you don't even have to be monetized, monetized or a YouTube partner in order to profit, uh, on YouTube. So if you want to go pick this up and what I'm going to be showing you in this first technique is something that's going to be very related to PLR Profits Academy or using PLR to make money. And we're going to use Spin Rewriter to do, to do that. Okay. So we're going to go over and you can use any site you want. I use big uh, product store.com for my PLR uh, to get my PLR and you can go to idlplr.com. It's another uh, site uh, similar to this that has over 13,000 eBooks that you can go and download and such. Um, there's all kinds of different places that you can go to get um, some PLR products. And what you would do is you would go over here and you can search by all kinds of different, like if you go to browse all products, you're going to see the latest things that have been posted on the site, right? Um, and so basically what PLR allows us to do is use this content. It's more on the white hat and side of things because they're giving us um, access to be able to use this content. Um, and I'm going to, I'll show you that you want a spinner. If you're going to use private label rights, depending on if you're going to go and create YouTube videos with the content, then it's fine. You can leave it the way it is. But if you're going to go be posting this on a website, then you're going to need to spin the content. Okay. So let's come through. Uh, I'm going to go to products and then go to ebooks over here. And we're just going to scroll through and let's just say we go to this vegan, uh, PLR book that's new. We would just push download the product. I've already downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Microsoft word and show you we've got almost 3000 words of content right here. We could go and take our pick. We could post this entire thing as a, um, as a post on our site, or we could just do, you know, half of it or so forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, some of this content right here as if I'm going to go and publish it on my site. But if I go and just take this content right here, let's do two chapters. It's uh, a thousand words. We're going to copy this and we can go in and search for uh, if this is, I'm going to go into Grammarly because I have a premium membership to check uh, plagiarism on this account. I'm going to go new and we're going to go ahead and throw this uh, content in here and we're going to check for plagiarism. So it's 100% plagiarism. It shows up um, on this site right here. So they were the first to grab this and go and like if you're the first person to go and grab this content and go and publish it on a website and it gets picked up, then you're kind of in luck. You get you basically get free content right <laughs> from using the PLR that way. Um, but other people are going to go ahead and grab that content as well. And look at these 44% match, 43% match on that site, and then 13% uh, match on this site. So uh, it's definitely plagiarized content. You wouldn't want to just go paste this on your site. We need this uh, plagiarism score to be probably 10% or less. So what we would do is we would just take that content. We'd go into uh, Spin Rewriter. We'd go to Spin Our Content. I'm going to go over to Settings over here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on all four for now. 
We're going to go over to words and phrases and, and watch this. I'm going to go down to most readable. So it's going to actually um, read a lot better. Um, and we don't, like I said, we don't need this to be a hundred percent unique. I can, I, I literally have a website that was completely scraped 370 articles. Um, a lot of the content and it wasn't intentional. I actually just purchased a site and it's just completely scraped content and uh, it's ranking. It's got a DA of 55 and it's um, uh, ranked for over 30,000 keywords. Uh, it's really, really insane. And I didn't even think to check about the duplicate content um, on the site. Yes, I'm doing some things to, um, to reconcile uh, the amount of scraped content, but it's just to show, I'm just trying to show that uh, you can actually have uh, some matched content and it's, it's okay. You don't want it to be, uh, you know, 50% or higher, probably you want it to be as close to zero as possible for sure. But I think that there's a little bit of leeway and we don't know what that number is with Google, but I do think that there's some leeway um, that Google understands that, um, that, that all pages on all sites are not going to be a 100% unique. Even after you have your content on a site for a really long time, people are going to start copying off of your own content. And so if you went and put it through a plagiarism checker, there's going to be, um, you know, things that show up. So, um, just to, just to kind of explain a little little bit about that. So we're going to come through here. I'm just going to say, okay, I'm going to go paste the article in here. And then we're going to say, rewrite the article. And now spin rewriter goes to work. Okay. So you have to understand what, um, you know, the right uses for um, article spinning and you need to do it the right way. You need to have an expectation that, um, the spun content right here is not going to sound 100%, um, you know, readable, um, and, but this is a powerful software. If you use other AI writer softwares that are spinning content, they're not going to be able to spin it as powerfully and as fast as uh, spin rewriter is going to do. But what you're going to want to do after you um, get this content, remember we're using PLR content, which we can already use. We technically have the right to, uh, to grab the content. We have the right to grab the content from this book over here that I showed you and go paste it. Uh, literally copy paste onto our website, but it's not going to be unique content. So Google's not going to really have any reason to kind of rank your, your content, right? So you'd be wasting your time. So that's why we would use a tool like spin rewriter to go out there and actually help us create, you know, very unique content. So we're going to take this and you can see it's 99% unique out of billions of uh, versions possible. We're going to say finalize article. It's going to go out there. We have all of our uh, contact context in here. And, and all we have to do is we can come over here and grab some images as well. I'm just going to type in vegan right here. We can say two images. I'm not going to do wrap. We're going to say use image and then we're going to say generate unique article. Okay. So then now we have this image that's put in there and we have our article down here. Now I'm going to go copy this. So copy, we can go back over and check in Grammarly and see what the improvement is. Now, remember 100% plagiarism right here. We wouldn't want to uh, use that, but we're going to go back into Grammarly. We're going to paste this in and check the um, plagiarism now and see what we come up with. So now it's only at 23% plagiarism. Okay. So we click this. It's only 10% of the text matched on this one site over here. Now we can come through here. We could uh, go through and fix that, but and I would recommend at around the 23% level that we would go and um, spin it a little bit more than that. Um, we could go back, uh, we could go to spin rewriter and we can go back to step one. So I always like to check that and use recommended first. Okay. Um, but then we can come back to, you would just go back to step two, back to step two. And then we would come back in real fast and we would go to settings and we would move it up. Uh, we would bump it up right to there and then we'd say, okay. And then we would um, go and do the rewrite and see if we can get a little bit better. So we'll be back in just a second. And I'm going to come back over here before we use the recommended. And just to show you, you can pause the video and actually read this. It actually reads uh, like a human wrote this um, when most of this, right? Um, everything that doesn't have a line under it, under it is actually uh, did spin enough to pass plagiarism, right? And you can read it and it sounds really good. Okay. So this is the way that I would use it for myself. Um, you guys can, do, you know, definitely do this at your own 
whatever you think is best for you, you and your business. Okay. Um, uh, but I think, uh, based on what I'm seeing, uh, after buying a huge site that is ranking for 30,000 keywords and has a ton of scraped content, uh, we had way more scraped content than this and it's doing just fine. Um, someone went and copied a bunch of content and I didn't even think that that even exists, uh, that that was even possible today in 2022, but it is. And so, um, I'm just trying to say that, when a search engine looks at this and sees that this number is the majority, right? We're almost at 80% uniqueness. Um, it's well, okay. So this is what, what is that? 70. Okay. So it's a 77% uniqueness score. You could go with 70% uniqueness score on your content and just say that that's your, that's your limit, right? You want 70% of the content to be unique and you're okay with the 30% uh, of matching, right? Um, I'm that I'm just throwing that out there as a number. You could go with 90 or, um, whatever you want to go with. But anyways, I just wanted to show, because once we go in here and we start using the recommended, you might get a little bit more, uh, you're going to have to spend just a little bit more time editing, right? Yeah, which is fine. Uh, we're going to come back over here. Like I said, you would grab some images real quick and we would just grab some images here use those generate article and then it says 92 percent right here i'm going to go copy over here we're going to go into grammarly and we were at 23 percent here and let's go and paste this in and check plagiarism on this and recommended gets us one percent plagiarism and it's literally one percent of the text so there's one match it's literally just the sentence right here this entire thing uh this entire article is now unique uh, we can come in here and we could literally just rewrite this. You will have the opportunity to create. So I just rewrote that. It's going to check plagiarism right now. And we are at 0%. Looks like your text is 100% original. So this is perfect. And remember what we're doing right here, there's just nothing black hat. We're literally using private label rights content to do this. But now we have unique content from uh, content that someone already put a lot of time into probably hired writers to write this content. But now we have um, our own unique content. Okay. So that's the way that I would do that with uh, PLR. Um, and then, and I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about with the, you know, amount of plagiarism that is matched. Um, you can, you kind of have to come up with your own number, but what, from what I'm seeing is that it does not have to be 100% unique in order to rank on Google right now. So, um, but you have to form your own opinion, right? Uh, so we're going to come over here and another way that you could do this is you could go and use your favorite AI writer. I'm going to use copy AI today. And I just typed in something for fun, how to make money on YouTube without showing your face. And we're just going to say, create outline. I'm going to go create some content real quick. I'm going to show you how you can use uh, AI writers in combination with Spin Rewriter. And this would definitely benefit those that are doing SEO campaigns that have uh, maybe a, a private blog network or a PBN. Um, and you need content to post to your to your websites, right? Well, you could go and grab this. I'm just going to say generating talking points. And instead, let's say you have a hundred blogs that you need to go and post some content for, or someone uh, comes and buys a, uh, you know, a backlink campaign from you and you're running your own PBN and you need content and you, you said that you're going to, you know, give them 30 backlinks or something like that, right? Well, you could come through here and you could generate an article real quick. So this is going to be fresh content, fresh content that um, was just created. We could go and check this copy escape, but, um, I guarantee it's going to, uh, pass completely pass, um, plagiarism right here. So we're going to have this article right here that is 700 words, right? And we're going to go ahead and just grab this and we're going to copy it. We can go back into spin rewriter. We can go back to home rewrite. We have all of our settings on. Okay. And I'm going to go definitely go to readable right here. We can go. Okay. Actually, we'll keep it on recommended because we want more spin tax. We're going to throw that in here and then we're going to say rewrite. Now, why am I doing this? Okay. So when we come out of this, we're going to have spin tax. That is basically the coding behind, um, when you replace cinnamon synonyms in these different articles, right? Uh, so all these different codes that are being put right here, right? The, the, the brackets, the close, uh, the, the left bracket, right bracket, and then the long pipe brackets in between. It's basically saying every time we generate an article from this, um, I want it to 
you know, choose one of the keywords inside of those um, open and close brackets to create unique content. Okay. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, we're going to come through here. I'm going to say finalize article. And this is where you would use this tool over here. Now what we would do instead of clicking just the one generate unique article button to kind of just get one article, we're actually going to come through here and push the export button. And now we're able to choose our format, export each unique article in its own text file, um, spin text format, um, or text file separated by a custom separator right there. But generally right here is going to work just fine. How many unique articles do you need up to a thousand article export if you wanted to, but we're going to just say for fun, we're going to go with 50 and we're going to say export. So it's preparing our articles. It just worked. We're going to say download the articles and I'll show you what those look like right here. We're going to open that up. I'll bring this over here to show you that we have 50 articles. You'll see over here, 50 articles. We can just randomly select one and you have all of your articles are ready to go right here. Okay. So um, you can create up to a thousand articles at the click of a button from the one piece of art, uh, content and each one's going to be unique from the other. So you would be able to manage your PBNs. And I think that this is one of the biggest reasons why, you know, a lot of SEO people will still use this tool in order to manage those PBN sites and to come up with content and not have to hire 50 pay for 50 articles. Um, you know, it's the difference between paying for 50 articles. So if you have 50 articles times, let's just even say that they're spending seven, $7 and 50 cents per article. They'd spend $375 just to, um, just to publish to those 50 uh, websites where they can just take one $7 and 50 cent um, article or an AI generated one and create, um, you know, 50 articles from one article. So those are some white hat uh, methods that you're able to use the um, spin rewriter software. Now, just remember that this software is not for everybody. If you're a legit business or brand uh, and you're creating content for your money site, I probably wouldn't recommend spin rewriter um, as a way to go. You're going to have better luck using, um, you know, using an AI writer and making sure that you sift through and you edit uh, the content, make sure it's good and ready to publish on your money site. But if you're doing a, a strategy that you uh, want to experiment with a small niche website or something like that, and you want uh, to speed up things uh, and you want to, um, or you're trying to use PLR in unique ways, then, uh, and you want to make PLR more unique, then this is a great tool. This is one of the best tools or only tools other than rewriting it yourself. Um, this is the best tool that you can use to um, basically rewrite PLR, um, still be readable, and then be able to publish that. So that's the most white hat way of using this tool. Uh, stick around, subscribe. I will um, be doing a little bit more uh, one more video on spin rewriter. I know you guys asked for some spin rewriter videos, like how I would use the software. Um, and I'll, I'll show you some other techniques that are just going to be, I'm just going to show them. I'm not telling you to go out and do it, but I am, I will show them. So make sure to subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.